Good morning, Sadler students, and welcome to STEAM Day. Remember that STEAM is science, technology, engineering, art, and math. This project that you're going to start this morning will focus on engineering. Engineering is basically the practical application of science. That means you're not just doing the science, you're using the science to make something real happen. Engineers have jobs designing all sorts of things that will make our life easier and safer. You can hardly spend five minutes without touching something an engineer has worked on. From the outlets and wires that bring electricity to our classrooms, to the desks we sit at, to the automobiles that drove us to school, and the roads and bridges they drove us over. Even your little milk carton you drink out of is designed by an engineer. If you don't like milk and drank water this morning, well, that was engineered too. The water was cleaned up in a water plant and then pumped through pipes and faucets designed by engineers. Not all engineers do these practical projects. Some get to do ridiculously cool things like design roller coasters or rockets. Today, you're going to get to do some engineering of your own and design a simple paper rocket. Your paper rocket will basically be a tube of paper that can be launched with a puff of breath from a straw. You're going to build it now, and then during your afternoon rotation, you'll get to see if your rocket can hit a target. In that way, your rocket will be tested for both how far it can fly, distance, and if it can hit that target. Engineers have to think about their goals, their resources, and their obstacles and then design the best object or rocket they can. Sometimes an engineer gets to test out their ideas in full scale and make adjustments. Other times they don't get that opportunity. Today, you know that your goals are distance and accuracy and your resources are paper, tape, a pencil, and a straw. You're going to have to brainstorm without being able to test some factors that you think will affect your paper rocket design. What do you think is going to help or hurt your rocket? What might, it, might make it be able to go farther? What might, it, what might make it simply fail to launch? What's gonna make it go straight or crooked? You need to think about those factors and then choose how you want to design, taking those ideas into account. We will all be making similar rockets but making modifications in things like length and nose cone shape to make it your own. I'm going to show you a quick video of a basic way to make this rocket because it's a little easier than just reading it on a paper. You're going to need to start with a rectangle of paper and most of you will receive a sheet that gives instructions and has a rectangle. Cut your rectangle out, it'll be about this size, and I'm going to show you a good way to wrap it around your pencil. Put it in the pencil flat in front of you and get a piece or two of tape. Put them, whoops, you know it actually doesn't hurt to just tape these to the table so I'm going to do it that way. Put them on the paper and then flip it over where the sticky side of the tape is up. Don't rip your paper. Maybe it isn't so good to do it to the table. So then you're going to put your pencil inside of the paper and begin rolling it up. You, this, you're going to be using this with a straw later. This is the right diameter using the pencil. Having the sticky side of the tape up, and roll it slowly because when it hits the tape it's going to automatically stick and form a rocket. Now since I've ripped it, I'm going to need a little more reinforcement. See that's just me showing you what could happen in case of an accident. So you want that. Now, this is on your pencil right now. When we go outside, you'll be putting it on a straw. Right now, if you blow it, it's not going to go anywhere because the end is wide open. So the simplest way to do this is to fold the end, end of the nose cone over and put a piece of tape over it to hold it in place. However, there are some other nose cone options you can do. I like to leave it on the pencil if I'm going to do the twist option, which is you just take it and twist it. Now, this looks a little messy, but as long as you get it twisted well, it holds, holds the air and will let it puff. 
And if you think the pointy nose cone will make a better rocket, that can be your way to go. The next, actually better to leave this on the pencil. The next thing to do is decide, do you want fins? These things fly fine without fins, but do you think fins attached to the rocket will make it fly better? If so, you can cut out one of these styles and try it or make a style of your own. You may notice that there's a little part sticking up and down on each of these. It looks a little odd, but when you go to tape it on here, you're gonna find that if you don't have the part that sticks down, there's really no good way to tape it. It wraps around, it curves on the, it curves on the paper too much. So your solution is to make a little tab that sticks down. And if you've got one cut this far, you can just cut over and up. Just give yourself a little tab that you can tape to the pencil. That's why those are on the template. Now you can get a little piece of tape for top and bottom. You don't need much for this and tape them on. I don't like to tape it right to the bottom of the rocket. I like to leave a little room up. Otherwise, sometimes it gets stuck on the pencil or occludes the end and sticks to the straw where you're gonna blow. If it gets past there, you might have to cut it off. Now you kind of have to form and shape your fins where you want. This is where it's good to have it on a pencil. Give it a little fold. Give it a little fold. Straighten it out. Getting, you can do this from both sides. This is one side. You can do that from both sides if you want four fins, or you can just put them out to the side and have a two fin rocket. Now that you've seen how to do it, it's time for you to build your rocket. Remember that if you just have a fit trying to figure out how to build a fin, these things will fly without a fin. Maybe they'll do better without it. Without fins, they weigh less. Do you think that's an advantage or a disadvantage? Those and some other good design questions are listed here. You might want to keep this slide up as you go to work. And remember that you can modify anything that your teacher will let you, but it has to be able to fit around a pencil so that it will fit around a straw and can be launched outside later today.